Hello, everybody. Merry and Christmas. Why we shouldn't okay. discuss politics. It's Merry <laughs> Christmas. I'm riding the Christmas wave. We, we, we brought a fuckboy. We, we, we aren't discussing politics. Everyone toasts at once. They don't know that. <laughs> but we weren't. This Stop ruining the illusion. Um, all right, so so uh, I, I'm glad we discussed politics, but after the stream is over. So um, uh, let's continue forward. You guys, as I said, walk into the small little Thorpe of two to three dozen <laughs> people. I like that one. And um, uh, you're looking for somebody who's riding low. Um, so uh, as you guys walk in, how do you uh, go about looking for this person, this individual? <clears throat> low! <laughs> Tal just shouts. Yep. There's like probably one person in here that has a name like Low. Okay, um, so you yell it, I imagine, and you hear no response. You do it like a second time, like a few seconds later, but much louder. Like, oh, you know, like, and then, um, so you just, you just concluded the dealings that you needed, uh, in the town. Like, you know what I mean? Like you, you had gone off, uh, this is to, to you, Low. Uh, you had actually gone oh, yeah. off and, um, uh, had the, we're going to say the conversation that you needed to. Uh, a little bit further into the woods, found out the information that you needed to know, and then brought it back to this small little town um, and, uh, and and gave it to the people here, which was, honestly, it was good news because uh, they'd been looking for that person that went missing along, uh, for a long while, and the fact that, you know, they actually were found, uh, they're just kind of, you know, sneaking off with the boy. Was were they found alive? Alive, yeah. They were just sneaking oh, off with okay. the boy as opposed to um, uh, dead, like everybody else has been. Uh, made them happy. Um, you were annoyed that you had to play like some sort of errand boy, but whatever. You, you made them happy. At least you know that that's one less corpse, because there's been a lot of corpses lately. When all of a sudden you hear, ah, coming from uh, through the trees back into the village. And then a couple moments Al later. Cal is actually a cow. <laughs> a couple moments uh. later. It, it has a bit more definition to it as you kind of like turn and, and you know, focus your hearing that way. And you hear somebody literally is yelling out the word low. You don't know um, uh, the voice, but honestly, when somebody yells like that, it's really hard to uh, uh, understand anything more than just annoyance. So um, you head back that way to go and see who's calling out your name. This is true. Um, do you just come walking immediately out of the tree line or do you scout out like to, to see who the fuck you're dealing with first? Uh, just walk out, yeah. Okay, so you just come walking out of the trees uh, from off to the side. Do me a favor. Describe yourself. Um, I'm coming out of the coming out of the tree line. Um. Wow. No, I was I was I was just making sure that's how I was coming out. The tree line. Um. You see a standard-sized halfling. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I was like, why? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I just changed everything on Derek Lesson. There's a gnome? <laughs> He's completely shirtless, holding a giant barbarian axe. No. <laughs> um, so, uh, meme. a, um, a, a half leaf, cr half leaf, a half elf creeps out of the tree line. <laughs> um, he's fairly young. He's, uh, he's about five foot seven, lightweight, skinny, skinny little little man uh he's got pretty fair skin he's got light gray eyes black hair it's cut short and he's walking towards you um confused out of no recognition of who the fuck you are <laughs> and he goes uh who the fuck are you uh are you uh low yeah, where can I look? Can I roll perception to you, see them? You see everything about them. <laughs> right now, I do. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Do I do I do I see he's a witcher? Oh, okay, that's a different conversation. Uh, uh roll me a perception. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that's I I missed that what you were trying to do. Ah, uh, yes, you do. <laughs> you see, he's a witcher, and um, uh, you can kind of like. Not only do you see like, so that's a really good perception. Not only do you see that he's a witcher, the uh, the color, the shape of his eyes, you know, uh, the the gray hair, all the other details that would give it away to you, the silvered sword on his back. Uh, but beyond that, you can actually see 
that uh, the beefy guy that's traveling with them, uh, the tattoos that he has visible on his body, uh, the kind of weapon that he carries as well. I mean, you're not super familiar with them, but you're also not somebody that just grew up in the shithole of a town. Uh, you're a bit traveled. So you actually are familiar that that is actually a, um, uh, a dragon uh, slayer right there. Um, oh however, the, the third one that travels with them, seeming like he has a weapon, clearly doesn't seem comfortable. Uh, at his side, um, looks kind of frumpy and mundane, so on and so forth. You're thinking maybe he's the errand boy, or, or something. I'm a like peasant. <laughs> he looks so. similar to a, to an errand boy. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm, okay. I'm just gonna test so. the macro just to make sure it's good. Uh, but this get ignore this. Jeez, that's a lot. All right. That was ugly. So I will. Oh, I was trying to figure out what that role meant. I see now. All right, so I come out of the tree line and I see everything he just described to me. So ugly. It's fine. No, it's ugly. Go ahead. Just leave it be. I'll fix it. I, Don't worry. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I see that Bastion's a witcher, and this excites me, and I, I get a big smile on my face, and I take off my sack, and I, and I just put it down on the ground, and I, and I walk up with big open arms, and I come right up to Bastion, and I slap his cheeks, and I pull down his eyelids, and I stare right into his eyes, and I go, no way! You're um, a witcher! Yes, that I am. Awesome! My god, look at those biceps! <laughs> oh, sweet! Definitely, I, I don't, like, full-on do this kind of flex, but I, like, I flex my muscles as you're, like, <laughs> right up on him, like, yeah. <laughs> awesome, and I'll go down the line. I'm showing off. You! Do you hunt dragons? Uh, well, um, I, I was a reaver, so, uh, oh, no, I've never what? actually hunted a dragon, but he yeah, single right. handedly took down a fork tail and I clapped him on the back. What's a fork tail? That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I come to, <laughs> sorry, Derek's freaking out. It's fun. And, then, and then I come down to Brandon, I'm like, ah, Aaron boy. Well met. And I go yes. back over, I go back over to the witcher. <laughs> So, are you here to help? Are you here? Are you here to help us with the with the swap? Yes, we were actually just coming to gather information. Oh, awesome! Uh, who who paid you? Do you know? Uh, the burger well, we've master. we've not been uh, paid paid yet. Well, so. yes. Oh, you're doing it for free? No, I get paid when the job's done. Mm. Oh, okay. And who's paying you? Who hired the you? Burgermeister Wilhelm. The burgermeister. Do I know the burgermeister? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yes. He, Everyone knows a burger meister. Yes, Have you ever had a burger? <laughs> okay, yes, you do. Everybody does. He's the one that runs Vizima. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Do you like him? Do I like him? Um, uh, so I'm going to have to fix that later on. It's it's not showing up as the correct card, and it's bothering the so, It's so literally mean... fine. We keep telling you to just ignore <laughs> yeah. it for now. So, and you're yeah, like, no, I need to fix this. <laughs> when me and Rick are like, the crap out of me. You were like, ah. I'm only rolling D12s anyways. It's not like it's D20 rolls, so... Um, all right, so so you you know of who of Burgermeister Wilhelm. You know that he's the one that runs the uh, the city of Azima. You know that he's uh, doesn't really give a shit about the people outside of the city. Um, uh, from what everybody's opinion out here, general opinion about him uh, from out here is, you are the serfs or or peasants or whatever uh, endangered servants that um, whose sole purpose in life is to make sure that the city is generating profit. And for you, for them to do that, you need to bring them in um, fish and whatnot for trading, and you need to bring in uh, fish and whatnot uh, in food like uh, like farmed foods and whatnot for them to eat. Um, since he took over as burgermeister, there's been a, an increase in the tax on items that are sold uh, in Vizima from outside of it. However, there is a uh, very large fines for those that don't sell within the market itself, the marketplace mm. itself inside Vizima. So it's like one of those, oh, this guy's a fucking dick. But it's not like he's an evil person. It's not like he's like out here like murdering people and stuff like that. He just is a bureaucratic dick, so. I mean, could you not classify that as evil? But never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Burgermeister, yeah, he's a he's a bit of a cunt, isn't he? <laughs> well, uh, the impression I got. He's actually our employer at the moment, so. Uh... Cunt with a lot of coin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So, um, you guys want to do this now? I I've never hung out with a witcher before. What do you, what do you guys, 
Should we get oh, some uh, drinks or? Oh, we're just here to ask some questions, but I, I oh, think yeah, we'd yeah. all okay. think we'd all agree that a, a nice tepid drink would be very pleasant right yeah. now. All right, so we'll just hit up. A, we'll hit up some of the one of the taverns here, and we'll just let's talk. Do you, do you have a tavern? Do, do these I mean, do they even have cellars? I mean, we have. You know, we make our own, but it it, it gets it pretty good. Right. Let's just have I some. Imagine drinks. you leave it out in the swamp to stay cool. Get some real <laughs> taste in there. Well, I'll yes, tell you so... what. There's some really nice herbs out there. Mm, makes that shit taste great. Uh -huh. you, honestly, you don't even know you're faded until you wake up the next morning. Well, hopefully we don't drink too much because we do still have a job to do. But... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. All right. Let's let's go. Let's go. I'll, <laughs> I'll lead you. I'll lead you guys to the bar. Well, what what you're going to do? Um... And uh, it's not a very long walk. It's like maybe ten. Minutes. We go into just someone's house. <laughs> it's it's literally the the town the the village that they walked through to get here. So they're going back one by like again a ten minute walk. When you go there, it literally is effectively someone's house. You know what I mean? It's just this is the house you go to because he's the one that has the stuff. Because you know you're not building a whole establishment here. He's um, he's the guy who makes it. <laughs> exactly. So you go in and it's just like you walk in and and you don't knock or anything like that. You literally walk in. You know when you do that, he goes and grabs like a, a cudgel or whatever nearby. Like ah, oh, someone's coming in. And uh, it's funny because he literally does this every time somebody walks in. But he tells people all the time, "Don't knock, just walk in." Um, uh, <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, his nickname's Coot. So um, you know, it's kind of like as you walk in, he does that. You're just kind of like, you know, it's okay, crazy old Coot or whatever it is. And um, mm -hmm. And and he nods and he sees three more people walk behind you and he's like, "Oh, I haven't seen you guys in in a while. How you been?" Careful, Coot. They're witchers. And he goes, "Yeah, I think the uh, the people that came in before were too." Uh, and he and he uh, goes and grabs a couple of mugs and and fills them up with, like, fills them up like he's pouring you a beer with whiskey. Um, and he puts them down and says, oh, "I got all of your favorites." Um, enjoy. Thank you. Uh, ca careful, oh. but listen, Coot. He, you know, when he makes this stuff, a lot of chemicals, you know, in the air, that kind of thing, kind of fucked him up, you know. So just, just um, uh, don't, don't um, like, you know, don't sprint to the bathroom if you gotta pee. You know, just walk calmly, or you might scare him. Okay. Bathroom. Cool. <laughs> the outhouse. Same thing. <laughs> Does he? Uh... The porch. <laughs> <laughs> we call the... it the bathroom. <laughs> Does he... Jesus Christ. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> His cat's in heat and really trying to get laid. It's not. They're all got their Ghibli's cut. That doesn't mean they can't get out. Mm. It does. Mm. Um, <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> it, it does. Uh, does he just steal it? Mm, brew it? Ferment it? Doesn't matter. It's free for us. He, his answer well, to you, who actually says, yes. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just I've I've heard some tales. I've, okay. I've uh, drank with lots of different people. I've already people. drank half. <laughs> but just don't, don't don't refer to Coot in the third person. It's just I've heard a lot of tales of uh, people drinking uh, things in places like this and then going blind. Uh, that hardly ever happens. Right? Yeah, <laughs> says, but like he says, "Hello, what's Peter on about?" Uh, Peter is, uh, he's, he's, he's worried that perhaps the goods are not, um, totally legitimate, which I'm trying to, you know, learn him a little bit of our ways and how, you know, you, you, Kuda, you're probably one of the, one of the best distilleries I've ever seen. He starts, you know? like, nodding, and then he goes to interrupt. All, all your stuff's like, He's like, no, 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 I, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Peter, he gets it. Peter, he gets it. even though you had a good time last time you were here, I, I, I know you did some stupid shit and so you're nervous. It's okay. I'll get He's you a better nervous. one. And he pulls the mug back and takes like a healthy swig of it, which is very unhealthy, uh, uh, and puts it down, gets another mug, fills it up with the same stuff and puts it in front of you and says, different batch. This one's going to be so much better for you. You'll, you'll like this one. Good man, Coot. Good man. Uh, he gra thanks. grabs the mug of the one he's already started drinking from and then like walks out uh, out the place and uh, just starts like, kind of like taking a leak out in the middle of the and you guys have privacy for a bit uh, you should probably get back to business and again I've already I, I, I slowly push my mug like a little <laughs> bit further away from me like eh. 
Uh, <laughs> I'll take so, a I'll take a decent swig from it, but it's obvious that I'm not used to it, and it gets to me a little bit, and like my eyes start watering. See, like, <laughs> Tao like Tao's like he watches Brand do that, and he like puts his hand on the mug and starts sliding it away, and then lifts it up and takes a big <laughs> old ram, and he like looks at it, and he's like, "What then, is this like ninety proof moonshine? Is that what we're drinking?" Oh right my now? god, this is it good? It is not good. Um, <laughs> it's not ninety proof. It's it's more of an eighty proof, which is not super common. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, what's common to us in real world is not super common to them, right? So so it's like a good eighty proof. Sorry, we're saying yeah. 80. No, bad no, no, eighty. No, ninety proof is bad. Not, so you would, uh, that's one hundred and eighty proof is ninety percent. So yeah. this is this is like um um my apologies like one hundred and sixty proof. So like, okay. No. Eighty proof. I think I think, I which think is that's forty percent. Right. Bam. <laughs> 160 proof is 80 percent so. yes so this is 80 proof which is 40 percent so it's like a it's typical 40%. vodka or whatever uh, okay it's it, it's it is definitely a whiskey uh so you mean 40 percent it's 40 percent which is 80 proof yeah okay it's so we proof. we work in percent because we're not like yeah you know. if you read any liquor bottle ever in the united states i don't look anywhere else <laughs> uh, in, in in england and europe it's all percent. in the zima it's because, proof because yeah. it's really really easy to understand for people because everyone learns percents i don't yeah. know why the proof exists i honestly don't know it has it's a there's a reason for it i'm sure it has something to do no with problem. like when we had uh uh when alcohol was illegal doesn't really matter. You also have I'm foot drinking. as a measurement, and that doesn't have any reason to exist anymore either. Listen, that yeah. came from typical their, American. That stuff. came from their crown. You know? Yeah. So, that's guys. Oh, here it is. Proof is so called because back in England in the 1500s, the government would levy a higher tax on liquor containing a higher amount of alcohol. Alcohol content was determined via a rather crude Do that with tax. percent. Fun, fun fact. Fun fact. That is why scotch is made in Scotland because it was a lot easier to hide from the taxman Ooh. up in Scotland. That's good. So apparently they would like try to set fire. it on fire with gunpowder. Um, if it lit, then it was high enough to be considered proof spirit. So proof means that it can light on fire with gunpowder. But that's not what it means nowadays. Nowadays it just means half a percent. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So we've had a fun, okay. we've had a fun learning experience. Yeah, let's get back hey, to what the about game. this D and D thing? Yeah, exactly. Am I right? Well, this uh, is what we're debating at the table. No, no, no. It's been <laughs> proof because the burgermeister uh, has been lighting it on fire. Anyway, what would you guys come here for? What's going on? So we were told that you're the uh, boy to uh, mm -hmm. to talk to. With regards to the incidents in the swamp, you've been working with the uh, the Eternal Flame. Or... Okay, now to fill you in <sighs> on this stuff, uh, uh, messy. Um, you are at TwitchCon, so the short version is um, there's been some shit going on in the in the the swamp. Uh, people have been disappearing, so on and so forth. Usually early I... in the mornings uh, or or in the evenings when the fog rolls in, uh, they start disappearing. So the um, uh, the eternal flame has uh, what is it? The order of the flaming rose uh, it has like uh, knights that have been coming through here, uh, like paladins, whatever you want to call it, that are trying to um, uh, cleanse this spot. They they feel as though they've succeeded several times, but every time they do so, they failed, and there's a problem. It just starts up again a few days later. Da -da -da -da. Um, you've worked with them a considerable amount, so actually you know like the death toll, you know like, the names of the people that have died, like you know that stuff, but these, this party doesn't care about it. What you do know that's more important than anything else is actually where the uh, creature has been tracked back to. Fairly consistently, the first places that get attacked are the towns uh, immediately outside of uh, Vizima, because it is believed that the, um, uh, the creature, whatever it is, uh, is living on the old manor island. So, um, uh, old Vizima used to be, uh, like I said, so, uh, slightly south and west of where current Vizima is, and they share a wall. So it's kind of like adjacent to it. Um, but the old manor, like the old like uh, home where the ruler of the uh, of the, the region um, uh, would live. Uh, was inside this huge manor that was on an island with like a it was a somewhat land, somewhat built bridge to get from uh, here to there. Um, that manor has long since dilapidated and broken down. That island Taunted. is never uh, traversed. 
is believed to be haunted. Uh, you know that some years ago there was a, a group of, uh, honestly, the name of them kind of slips your memory. They're called like the Scorpions, or there was some group of like uh, of like bandits that lived on the island for a short period of time. But um, uh, somebody had come through and actually solved that problem. Actually, is a thing that's talked about. Like a witcher actually came through and and literally murdered all of those people on that island um, because they were a part of like some some mm -hmm. posse of bad people. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, um, mm -hmm. so this is what your face. Uh, honestly, you wouldn't know. You weren't living here at the time that it happens. You just know that you've heard about it. They still don't talk about the white wolf. I mean, you know, he knows that there was a witcher that came through. So uh, he doesn't really know the details beyond that because it doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'm working with the eternal flame. You had been, when they come through asking questions, they toss you a couple of coin, you use that coin, or, or they give you information that's beneficial to you, and in exchange, you help track things down and so on and so forth, and you've tracked it down to that island. Um, so you're almost positive that's where it exists. Okay. What was the question that you were saying, Tal? Um, it was basically what do you know with regards to these disappearances. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, so fools really uh, getting grabbed like that, going out in the fog. It's really, I mean, come on, it's common sense. You don't, when there's fog in a swamp, you don't go towards it, you know? It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. The, the, the other guy said, he said that you might offer something more. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, well, you know, I've, uh, I know, I know what it is, and I know where it is. Um, that's causing all this. Just, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't really know uh, what to do about it. Has this fog always been here? Or is it new? <laughs> yeah, it started about um, uh, f f five, five years ago or so. Hmm. Back when I was... <laughs> it, it, actually, about the same size. <laughs> Okay, so the fog started recently, and it happens year in, year out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I'm, I'm curious, why does everyone, you know, it's not, I mean, yeah, it's a big deal, but only to some. You know, like, you know, there's fog in the swamp, you know, that happens, right? Like, why, you know, why do people care so much about it is, is what I want to know. <clears throat> but, but people die in the folk. Uh, yeah, but you know, they're kind of doing it to themselves. So, I imagine Bran just gives Hall a look while this is happening. Like, oh, so be, because uh, because you came in here and had a drink with me, and I got really rowdy and drunk, and I killed someone. They did it to themselves because they came in here with me. Well, you know, if there's a big sign out front that says, beware of drunk, you know. Have you put up a sign saying, beware the fog? Well, everyone knows. Uh, you know, is there a sign? Is there I, I a could sign? Put up, we could put up signs. That's not a, we, Well, we I'm just a saying, drunk. if there's no sign, then a bit of a flawed argument there. Yeah, okay, so let's let's change the scenario then. You walk up to the bar and someone coming out says, hey, don't go in there. That guy's drunk and he's going to kill someone. So literally as you say that, Ku comes in and he's like, oh, sorry, wrong room. And turns and walks back out. <laughs> He's a good lad. He's a good lad. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you know what's causing this? Yeah, I've seen it. So, what does it look like? It's got these long... <coughs> uh, digging claws. Um, big... You know, round head. A little bit taller than... Than Bastion's even. Well, I don't know his name. Big, big taller than this this witcher's head. Big head. A um, little bit of like a like a baby belly. Likes to eat people. So I've heard. That to me sounds like folk. Right. It's funny. That to me sounds like a devourer. Really? The, a baby belly? Yeah, well, folk has got a little bit of baby belly. He's got a little baby belly. <laughs> uh, but... No, non, non. That was obviously not in. Right. Uh, any idea what they are, Bastion? Because uh, that doesn't sound like the leech. You know, I've heard. I've heard that uh, witchers have books on monsters. Is that? Do you, do you have one? 
Based on that information, would I be able to make an intelligence check to? Uh, you can uh, you can try to roll, but uh, 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 what would that be? I suppose uh, I was, you can I was roll just a nature check, the... but honestly, it's. Well, I was just looking at the Witcher thing, and it said intelligence. Oh, that's fine. A flat intelligence, then. That's fine. Uh, I mean, my intelligence isn't good, so no, it's no, not... No. Yeah. It's also not a low DC. Fair enough. Because if you haven't fought it, then you don't know. So you don't know. Yeah. I, I put my book on the table when he asks about I'd books. Not, yeah. It's like, I happen to be reading a bit of a book that's uh, basically a monster guide for uh, newcomers to fighting monsters. The uh, and he sl he he, Tal claps claps you on the back. He's like the uh, the errand boy here is carrying his book. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah, cool. Um, mind if I thumb through it? Be my guest. Does it have a lot of pictures? <laughs> Sorry, um, uh, can 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 you read? Does it have pictures? I'm I'm just because I can't read. I'm I imagine just... since it's probably a children's book that's given to witches or something, it has pictures. No, there's no pictures. There's descriptions, and it would take mm. you a long while to like because it, it's not like it's written uniform where where it's like it opens up with like a title and a description, and then it goes into stats. You know what I mean? Uh... Like, like it, it's it's not uniform, so it would take a long while to kind of like parse through what you're looking for. Yeah, so I'm probably like just like I picked it up and I opened it and I see it's just a lot of words and I'm just like thumbing through the pages really fast. Like, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll figure it out. So uh, this this uh, fort in the center of the uh, swamp. In the mm -hmm. lake, yeah, uh, <clears throat> would we uh, be able to yeah. procure a boat? Yeah, 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 easy. yeah. That'd be easy. Uh, perhaps low. Uh, you'd uh, you'd uh, <laughs> you know row you or, uh, or stay on the boat. People, most people. Uh, what what is your name again? Uh, Luis, by the way, Luis Bianco. I hold out my hand. Luis. <laughs> and Kat. Um, <clears throat> Talabast. Uh, nice to meet you, Lo. Right. Call me, uh, call me Tao. Tao, great. Good name. Um, so listen, uh, why do you want to go there? You know, why do you, you know, you don't have to. M money. <laughs> yep, literally. How much <laughs> Brown and Tao are like 100% on that. <laughs> I'll just say, on killing the beast. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, how much is he paying you? No, um, I don't think that's really necessary for you to know at this point, no. other than okay. it is a sizable sum, probably uh, more than the value of the string of villages along the side of this lake. Uh, and rest assured, you will be uh, compensated for your aid in sailing the boat. Ah, uh, you know, I'm talking like 50 gold here, like Low rows. 50 gold? That's pretty good. I could probably buy you a house in these 50 parts. 50 gold? I don't think that buys you a new bow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh... That's like a few weeks' wage. I could... Just to row it out? Yeah, alright, alright. Okay. Maybe we should, um... Before... The coop okay. comes back. Well, you like, don't you don't want any more of his fabulous booze. Look, I gotta I gotta warn you though. This is a uh, you know I've seen it kill people um, much stronger than I, and much stronger than all of you. Not together, but you know maybe separate for sure. Well, they, they had the <laughs> misfortune of not having a witcher along with them. Re respectfully, Lo, I, I think it's quite difficult to gauge someone's combat ability simply from sharing a drink with them. One more thing before okay. we go. <laughs> yeah, what's up? There's these creatures, right? Uh huh. The uh, the blood suckers, with like the the big round face, the yeah, the claws yeah. about man sized. Uh huh. What do you know the, about them? Like, never how heard do of they? Them. They they're not responsible for the killings, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Never heard of them. Mm. You've never heard of them. All right. Well. Interesting. Oh. No. Yeah. No. Sorry. What, does a uh, 
what is it, Louise? Louis. Uh, just call me Lo. Yeah. Louis. <laughs> uh, Louis. <laughs> like looking at Louis, does he? Uh, Louis. <laughs> looking at Louis, does he look like capable combat-wise at all? Uh, like what is he? Like? <laughs> What's his? Ninety-one percent. He's got a no, bow he at his side and a dagger at his hip. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a stringy, still teenage. But he has got a very vicious attack cat with him. Yeah. So <laughs> I say, I say, you take the cat, you put it in the freezer. So it's chill oh my out. god, no! <laughs> keep him, keep him around, Mark. Right? For that. Jesus, keep him fresh. And they just meow meowing at each other. Uh, dude, they keep they kept me up all night. They were just fucking batting at each other. They weren't even fighting. <sighs> they just one would Tell sneak you. up and I was looking and be like, yeah. One's like, I have the string of emotions that I think are supposed to be here, but were surgically removed, and the other one's like. Why don't we just fuck then? And, and nah. so they're sitting there like, Mrrr! nah. The other one's like, you're singing to me? I happen to have been in choir in grade school as well. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you the butt of my people. <laughs> this is their rendition of friggin', you know, uh, Aladdin. Like, you know, a whole new. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's great. That's great. You, you really, you really, you know, kept that one up to its standards. Yeah, my jokes aren't good. We have standards over here. Shit, that's yeah, a good never good. Um, all right. So, anyways, you um. So so yeah, it's kind of like so the plan right now is for you guys to head out and head to, uh, to the old manor area. Um. Uh, currently, you are saying that uh, you do not know what the blood zuckers are. Um, and we are heading to, um, uh, go that way. Uh, getting your hands on a boat is really easy. Honestly, that's, that's not an issue whatsoever. Just go ask someone, yeah. Uh, th this is the closest village to, um, uh, the manor itself, so you just ask somebody here. And honestly, it's when you walk up to them, like, it's literally, you don't even have to say anything. You just kind of go over, and you, like, uh, see a boat, and you throw your bag into the boat. And then you look up, and you see, like, the owner across the way. It's kind of like, wave, point at it, thumbs up. And the person's like, yeah. And then they just, you hop in and they hop in as well. And um, you start making your way out. Do me a favor as you guys are rowing across uh, the, the area trying to get to the old manor. Because again, this isn't like super clean water uh, at first. Once you get out further into the lake, it's fine. But when you first, excuse me, when you first um, uh, are, are kind of like pushing off of the shore, uh, it's all murky. It's nasty. There's uh, many spots where, like, um, uh, the, the ground is actually hitting, like, the bottom of the, the boat and so on and so forth. You're kind of, like, scraping through, and you're almost like a uh, gondola. I think that's what it's called. The things in, like, um, uh, Venice. Uh, like, pushing yourself off more, more than, like, oaring yourself through the water. It's, it's like a barge. It's like a flat bottom ship rather than having a keel. Um, you, you, a little bit, because, you know, it does get windy. It's actually a rather large lake, so, you know, you, it does get windy. Oh, okay. There. But, um, um, so anyways, you, you start making your way through. Roll for me a survival check. However, um, because there's a lot of people here, um, uh, we can have two rolls of survival, and, um, I'll allow one of them to be with added advantage. So, I know, Neil, you have a plus six. Mm -hmm. What is yours, Messi? <laughs> plus six. Okay, cool. So yeah. one of those can have advantage. We'll just have Neil's have advantage. No, Messi should have advantage. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Familiar. It represents the whole party. All right, I'll, I'll, Neil. I'll I'm doing roll, it. You roll advantage, and I'll roll normal. Hey! Hey! Did we do it, Dad? We did it. We're the best. I mean, you did, but I'm still disappointed in the result. So, um, as you twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted us to get grabbed by drowners. As you guys are um, are making your way to uh, like through the area, you do actually see a couple of corpses, you know, floating over uh, near the shore. Don't poke them with a stick. I poke them with my paddle. I poke them with a mage hand, and I move them nah. out of the way. Um, so you you know to like kind of like just keep a, a bit of a wide berth away from them. But more important than that, the way that those three are kind of like spaced out and whatnot. Um, uh, the way that they're spaced out, they're, they're grouped together in such a way that, um, you think, like, you think if somebody were to go and approach and kind of examine them, they would actually have a bit of, um, 
an advantage in the fight with how quickly they would be able to surround the person. Now, drowners don't have tactics. They're just undead things. But occasionally, there's drowners amongst them that are a little bit tougher, a little bit smarter. And Alpha just like drowners. them being around, um, uh, it makes the others kind of like behave a little bit differently. And so you kind of get this feeling like, let's just take a wide berth around this thing. Let's not get anything's attention because those creatures do not pretend to be corpses floating up. Those creatures will straight up grab your boat and pull it under, you know what I mean, and flip it on you. So you end up kind of like going the long way around over towards the manor. Adds a little bit of extra time, but not a big deal. Uh, maybe even a little conversation happens about that situation. And Bastion will regale you with his tales of the time that he fought the drowned dead and he had to bash it with the shield. And then you guys make your way uh, finally to the, the island uh, of uh, where the manor is. I have to ask a question. What time of day is it that you intended to come here? I mean, you left the, the city in the morning. You've been traveling back and forth for a bit. So it definitely was midday. Do you intend to be approaching the island at daytime or evening? I... He said the attacks happen at like early morning, early evening, right? Correct. So we want to avoid being on the lake at that point because getting into a battle prior to really knowing what we're getting into is a terrible decision. And worst comes to worst, we can camp in the manor and probably meet some horrific wraith that is causing folks to roll out across the lake because he has some unfinished business because some witcher with white hair killed him many years ago. <coughs> Well, it's okay. There's a witcher with white hair with you guys right now. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> uh, we'll leave him. So, um, uh, you guys, so you're going before the evening uh, time. So, you make your way safely to the shore of, uh, of where the old man of island is. So, you make your way safely to, to that shore and are able to, to get off of the boats and whatnot. Nothing happens. Um, from here, do you want to start exploring the islands or do you want to just, let's not press our luck, let's wait until when we think the attacks are going to start happening and just, you know, wait wait for the sun to start to settle and the fog to roll out? We should, my vote would be explore the island now. Explore the island now and I will be casting Detect Magic as we keep going. Okay. What does Lo usually do? Like, because he was worked with the... Uh... Eternal flame. flame, when they came, what does he usually provide? Like, what does he usually have them do, or what do they usually choose to do? I guess I'm be asking. He, he, so, so to answer this question, he's worked with them in the past and trying to track this thing down. After he tracked it to this island before, um, all he really does is kind of like, does it seem like it has any activity that would say it's living off of the islands now? Nope. Flip a couple coin. That's more or less how it goes from there. If they have other little okay. bits of questions here and there. But when they come to the islands, they come alone. Lo doesn't come here. You know what I mean? Like oh. That's why he's like, oh, you're going to kill it? Like, clearly part of that was prodding, getting to the point of, is there coin involved? But also, like, he hasn't been involved in the fight before. He's Anything that he may have seen or may not have seen has been across the way, squinting eyes um, while they try to fight it, or um, happening ha ch by chance happens to be near where an attack has happened. Um, it's uh, a little frightening, this this creature, um, from from what you can understand what it's capable of. So um, it's not like he goes wading in. Fair enough. So you want to explore the islands now. I'm yes. Okay. So one of the things to note about this island is that um, there are little ponds and lakes and pools and whatnot that exist inside. I, I should say pools that exist inside of it. The island is not particularly large, and calling it an island is not even entirely uh, accurate either, because if the water table happens to be a little bit low, um, uh, because it happens to be like just a particularly dry season, um, land completely reveals itself that you can walk on uh dry if the water table happens to be uh normal level you can definitely wade through that same area almost like um it comes up to maybe like your shins or whatever and when the water table is high you usually don't want to do that because it's way too you know so so you taking a boat to get here is just a, a safe way um it's not really an island because that bar is pretty high up and there's two of them one's just wider and safer than than the other one the other one would be kind of dangerous to get through um but there are little pools of water, still water that exists throughout here, throughout the entire um, island, um, because of like where the water table went down or a gouge may have happened, so on and so forth. 
Um, uh, those exist over near where the old manor is. The old manor was, at one point in time, um, uh, if it wasn't three stories, it had a decent attic. You know what I mean? Like a really decent sized attic. It was rather wide and long. It was a rather large building. Um, but since then, the roof is almost completely collapsed in on itself. Uh, huge chunks of the wall have like rotted. Like literally one wall itself has fallen off outwards uh, out of the manor. Uh, the whole thing has shifted and leaning to the side. Going into the thing seems frightening to say the least because the wrong action taking place inside there would just cause the whole thing just to collapse in on itself. Um, uh, at least you believe it, it would. Um, the ground here is moist. Pretty much everywhere you step, it's moist. Maybe 20% of the ground here doesn't have a sloshing uh, to it as you make your way through. So you are walking your way through the, uh, the islands trying to uh, scout uh, a bit and see what you can see. Um, for that, I'm actually going to have you roll another survival check different from traversing to get here safely. Um, uh, same idea, but no advantages this time because um, you guys are actively doing other things as well. Um, I'll let you guys split the the party staying together. Do you split up at all? Like, How is the, the, the searching actually happening? The island is small enough if you're at far sides and one hollers to the other, you'd be able to hear it faintly in the distance. I think there. splitting is a good idea for now, but that's mostly because, like, non-PC, non I believe this to be in a not dangerous area until certain times. Okay. Awesome. Both of you guys uh, roll me. So who's splitting? Uh, one's going with Tal, one's going with Lo. I'll go with uh, Bran. Okay. Bran. Ah, the Witcher, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I figure you yeah, feel com comfortable being led by a Witcher. <laughs> so how is Bastion what? going to reject his proposal? <laughs> so are you are you guys going to the manor or are you guys just walking around? Uh, both. You're both kind of like making okay. your way around, going to the manor, so on and so forth. I imagine nobody's going into the manor unless you say otherwise. I was thinking about it. That's okay. That, that's your, you're entirely welcome to do so. It. Yeah, you're leading the way for me. I'll I'll think about Not it and I'll, really I'll, I'll you know I'll walk up to the door and knock on it. So seeing if the ghost wall falls down. So <laughs> making your way through through the islands, around the islands, to the manor, wherever the case may be, you guys can see about here and there. Uh there are the signs of drowned dead, whether one literally is just kinda like off to the side and just kinda like lumbering uh by a bit of a distance off. Uh but honestly, they don't seem to be hungered at the moment. So they don't seem to be uh, attacking. So if you keep it far enough distance, you don't really pull aggro. They don't come chasing down after you. Um, uh, Drowned dead aren't really the kind of going to go running across the lands attacking you anyways, unless they outnumber you. Um, they prefer the surprise tactic. You know, lie there, you come over, they grab you. Um, you know, uh, as opposed to oh, I'm just going to chase you. These aren't neckers, right? So um, drowned dead are the stronger version of drowners. Yeah. My apologies, I meant to say drowners, not drowned dead. Okay, cool. But, but, I just wanted to confirm. No, 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 you're fine. I, um, I just, because I said drowned dead earlier in a reference to something. So um, so the drowners that you see out there aren't going to go chasing across and, or anything like that. But you do see them about, and you can make an easy enough of a time uh, avoiding them. Uh, the, one, the the group that's going to have the harder time is the Witcher and the um, the Scout, because you're actually heading straight to the... Um, uh the the manor as a few of them are kind of like meandering around there so why don't the two of you guys if you want to avoid them entirely roll me a stealth check <laughs> easy do, do one of us have to roll or do we both have to roll both. because i do have this individual one but you can roll first and if you roll really well i'll let you give him advantage do i have no anything no <gasps> oh yeah that's right okay <laughs> that's right all right um I guess I'll roll my stealth. Okay, I'll let you give him oh, advantage. Wow. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, I have a lot of stealth. <laughs> Expertise from Rogue, though. Yeah. I love Rogue. There you go. So the two of Ranger you guys Rogue are... seems like a really good combo. What was that? Uh, nothing, just Ranger Rogue combo. Seems oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the build that we came up with is a, is a really cool build, so um, mm -hmm. I like it. Um... <clears throat> So you uh, you guys make your way through uh, and avoid them. 
no problem. You know what I mean? Get a little bit close to them. It's literally one of those things where Bastion, the only reason why he's not killing them is because he knows that the sound of combat is going to get them excited enough that they will attack and it just becomes more of a thing when right now you don't need a thing happening. So you can make your way over to the actual manor. You knock on the door. Uh, by like the third or fourth knock of your, your hand hitting against it, the, the, the door starts <laughs> to swing open slowly. Um, it doesn't like, like it very wide. Um, because just the rust on the, uh, the hinges itself, uh, slow the, uh, the momentum. Well oiled, huh? Um. Uh, I've, I've heard the rumors, Bash, and I've honestly never believed them, but, uh. How do you know my name? <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably, I probably would have given. Yeah, it. I, I oh, mentioned it. I called you oh, there in you earlier. I dropped it in because I'm uh, intelligent. Uh, dragon hunter. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> do you um? Do you want to go inside? Uh, if you believe that the creature could be potentially in here, absolutely. And Is it well? There's no fog. He only tends to show up when there's fog. This could be where it takes shelter. Here, I, I got an idea. Hmm. Is, is there a knocker on the door? There, Derek? there was a knocker on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to lift it and slam it down as hard as I can. Okay, so you do that. You lift up the knocker, slam it down, uh, as you just said. Um... Could you do me a favor? Both of you guys roll me a perception check. You hear town from across the island like, oh my god, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Why are we rolling high now? Hell yeah, dude. So good. Okay, so when you do that, uh, both of you guys, like, so so Bastion's pretty sure he sees something. Um, uh, he's pretty sure he sees something, and almost immediately, like, there's a vibration on his, um, his amulet. Uh, but very specifically, um, what's your name there? Do you remember it's going to be Luis. Uh, you, you see a, uh, a little light. So my apologies, Bastion, you see something, you see a little light, uh, a little bit further and your medallion starts to vibrate. But Luis, you very specifically see, uh, a will-o'-wisp, uh, inside mm. there. It lights up, whereas before you couldn't see it. It lights up, uh, for a moment as it starts moving towards like a doorway uh, down the hallway and fades from sight again um, before it even enters into the doorway. But definitely, you can see like which doorway it went into. It's one of those things where when that happens, uh, when you kind of like see that and you track it in there, you, Bastion, though you couldn't really see it aside from a quick little glimpse of light, you heard some strange noise, almost like um, a slight twinkling noise. Um, uh, just for a moment, uh, but then it fades. It, it, it fades from 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 what you can hear. Did, did you see that, Bastion? Mm. It was like a, a, a ghost. A ghost. Bro, Bastion. I don't, I don't Bastion. Think I quite got the look that you did, but I definitely heard something with my keen true um, ears. <laughs> Delric, I'm gonna. Um, just spend like a second just looking around to see if um if someone familiar to me is is there or not at this moment. I mean, nobody, nobody's here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's no 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 people here. Just okay. There's that that to... one uh, will o wisp that you saw. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me let me. Message me in Discord. Yeah, just really Why don't we quick. take a break? He can message me in Discord, and we'll see everybody in okay. just a couple of minutes. So they've gone up to the door. They knocked on it. They saw a will, uh, a will o wisp inside of it. The others are scouting around the island. Everybody's avoiding the uh, the drowners that exist here. And uh, and we'll see what happens when we come back in just about five minutes. So uh, hold on to your asses. We'll be right back. Da -da 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 -da